G'day guys, my name is Alright Taz, and that is my KTM Duke 390 2014 model. Bought it new, or well, technically it was a demo, but it had about four or five hundred kilometers on it, and I absolutely love this beast. I churn through a lot of motorcycles, I do a few mods, uh, I turn them over, you know, it's all personal use, it's not buy and sell, fit for profit, it's just I get sick of them, so I turn them over. But this is one that I've had, and I don't really plan on selling, and it's actually not that heavily modified. Uh, cosmetically, yes, but internally, no, she's bog stock, and I'm pretty happy with it. So I thought I'd just do a walk around and just walk through what I've done and what I potentially plan on doing. So up front, I've gone around and I've detailed all the screw heads black. Uh, this is not an expensive bike. It sort of ultimately comes in a fairly low price point. And from the factory, all these are silver. And it just detracts, in my opinion, from the look of the bike. So I've just gone around and I've detailed it to ultimately just blend them in, in my opinion, make it look better. See, I've gone with the screen, and that's going to divide people. Uh, it's a naked bike with a screen. What what gives? I write Tass. I like it. I think it looks cool. It differentiates my bike from the few other Duke 390s that kick around. And it does actually provide some awesome protection and it blows the air well above my helmet and it protects my phone. Uh, it's just great screen. It does make it look a little bit like the Duke 390 Cup bikes, which is pretty cool. I've de-stickered the bike and I use a hairdryer to get the wrap off and I've cleaned it up by just basically making it black orange, white, simplified. And I put those KTM racing stickers on it. Got them from eBay. Uh, in my personal opinion, it just looks neater, cleaner than the stock wrap, which was a little busy. These knee pads work really well. Again, an eBay purchase, and they are great. Just allow you to grip that tank, which is quite slippery naturally. Uh, and sort of lock your knees in when you're giving it a raz. I've gone back to the stock pillion seat. A, it's lighter, B, it's more durable, and with the wrap taken off the back, because this was white sticker with orange writing, uh, it just looks better than the cowl I had. Uh, I've taken the grab rails off. You can see the mounting points there. Uh, again, just slim, uh, streamlined it made a little bit sleeker on the tank i've got a pro grip tank protector you can see fly there has cut into it uh, you sit up on the tank a fair bit on this bike so that is necessary works really well that's not a cheap ebay knockoff that's a genuine pro grip that i got from the bike shop and it works brilliantly got the homemade tail tidy I literally just took all the stuff out cut it off and mounted the plate from here back up there and I think it looks all right save me a couple of hundred bucks for a tail tidy you ma may not agree but I think it looks pretty cool my bike and I'm pretty happy with it swapped out some of the plastic bits for some anodized aluminium and KTM is renowned for its orange, so I've just put some orange accents on the bike. Chain guard, bobbins, sprocket cover, uh, kickstand, brake reservoir. rear brake reservoir oil 
and again it's just small details they're fairly cheap and I think it just adds to the look of the bike removes some of the cheaper plastic and just gives it in my opinion a little bit more classy look racy look I've gone with the eBay adjustable levers and from the factory the levers on this bike suck so these are one of the best modifications you can do these are shorty levers and I like two finger braking so they work perfectly if that's not your bag go the longer levers and it gives you a little bit more leverage they are great well worth the money can uh, adjust to pull them in or push them out depending on your personal preference and your hand size an n-star phone holder this divides people on whether you need to display your phone on a bike or not I use it for navigation I go for quite long rides on this bike and I use it for navigation so it's nice to have it up there in sight and the screen protects it quite nicely uh, this is a ram mount knockoff and works really well I'm very happy with it just pro tip glue these on because you lose them pretty quickly uh, I've just used a bit of fuel pipe there to uh, sort of protect the foam from the metal but glue them on so further plans for this bike guys uh, I've got a whole bunch of bits coming I've dragged it out of the shed and I've got a few plans for it to just uh, step it up there a notch and make it a little bit more modified with a piggyback ECU uh, new sprocket uh, some sinked brake pads just a few things to make it perform just a little bit better if you know anything about the Duke 390s they are a bit snatchy they are a bit jerky on the throttle and the piggyback ECU just helps with the fueling and it helps just even out some of that uh, snatchy jerky throttle response while we're talking throttle actually uh, it's hard to see but there's actually a quick throttle in there and it just helps increase the throttle response makes it a little bit more snappy on the throttle and this bike doesn't lack snappiness it's quite quick for its size and it surprises a lot of bigger bikes uh, and for some of my size meter 65 it's light it's agile it's nimble and I couldn't be happier with it so guys that's just a quick update of the KTM Duke 390 uh, stuff I've already done stuff I plan to do uh, this bike will be appearing in some videos again uh, over the next couple of months so I hope you join me guys with such a spectacular view and a spectacular day and a fun bike to ride what am i doing talking to you guys my name is all right taz and i am out